Hello and welcome to what is indeed going to be a very engaging and very educative session about becoming future ready with CTV advertising. I would like to thank the exchange for media for constantly being at the forefront of discussing the latest in the world of advertising and marketing. So when uh, Dr. Batra asked me for this keynote address, I readily agreed. And in fact, the problem with uh, Mr. Batra is that he remembers everybody's birthdays and he, told, he tells me, oh, you are an Aries and somebody who is a, a Capricorn and so on. And Rohit, I think, his wife's birthday is also there today. So, uh, Of course, the only birthday I remember today is that it is uh, CTV conference from E4M's first birthday. So, uh, Bataji, for your uh, latest child, uh, happy birthday as well. And this, uh, uh, you know, uh, to allow, um, to focus on how important these events and summits are, such as these, uh, please allow me to lay down some context. As many of you would agree, during our day-to-day -day functioning as large organizations, we tend to become very immersed in acting on innovations along our lines of work. However, I think it's equally important to step back every once in a while and come to gatherings such as these, where we get not only get a chance to voice our experience and endeavors, but more importantly, get to listen to the leading minds from across the industry about their best practices and their innovations in this vast domain of advertising and marketing. So today's point of discussion, precision targeting, mantra for a successful television advertising is, as we all know, an extremely relevant area of discussion, considering the very fluid digital landscape that we are operating in. We are now very much in uncharted waters. We are referring to such transitions in other parts of the world for context may not work, which means that if you look at other parts of the world and feel and think that that's going to pan out in India as well, it may not happen because there is a fundamental difference for the Indian demographic. So let us take a deep dive into the powerful transition that is driving a maelstrom in the world of television advertising. India has, by the way, emerged as one of the fastest growing markets in the world with respect to advertising spends, uh, clocking almost 90,000 crore in 2022. That's a growth of almost 21%. Uh, Long-term CAGR is uh, around 8%. And the forecast is that this number is going to cross 1 lakh crore in 2023. The expected growth rate is, uh, uh, according to PMAR, about 15, 16 percent. India has the fifth largest GDP at the moment. In this context, it is also number nine in terms of ad spends. And there is a contrast with UK, for example. It has the sixth largest GDP, but its ad spend is 1.3%, whereas India's is about 03 so it's uh, actually about four times more than India's. This firmly indicates that the Indian ad spends have a huge potential to grow exponentially in the future. Let me share some key facts about television's growth in India at the moment. As we all know, Current reach of television is approximately 800, 900 million, and it is higher than any medium, including digital. We have about 450, 500 million active users in the digital medium. Television's advertising spends grew by, uh, uh, grew in 2022 to approximately 31,000 crore, is further expected to grow by 9% this year to around 33,000 crore, considering major sporting events like the IPL, the Women's IPL, the Cricket World Cup, uh, the thrust from FMCGs in, uh, on television spends. And TV penetration in India is expected to touch 76% by 
and the next three years from the current 70 percent. And there is, of course, a difference between urban and rural markets, about 87 percent in urban areas, about 61 percent in rural markets. This translates to around 260 million households. India is set to become the third largest television market globally by 2026, the third largest television advertising market by 2024-25. TV as a medium is not cluttered. It is thus very impactful with respect to imagery building and, you know, in, uh, in, in automobiles, uh, I can say imagery building, especially at the time of a new brand launch, is extremely important. It has got that stickiness factor. The recall through advertising, uh, through television, is actually one of the highest across categories. So let me come to connected television. With the dawn of this internet, internet age for the television, there is a disruption in the world of advertising. Not just for television, of course, but for digital spends generally. And here we see the opportunity with the advent of CTV, with a growing number of smart TVs. 90% so of the televisions sold are now smart TVs, up from about 67% a year back, 2021. Looking ahead, uh, almost 5% of the 262 million television households in the next three years will be these cord cutters. And as per a recent report, almost 83% of the smart television owners watch content using internet. Television penetration in NCCS AB households grew by about 17% from 2019 to 2022. As per a survey within the NCCS S A and B respondents, the study has established that viewers are cord switchers with multiple connections. And, uh, but in, in two out of, uh, of three households, they prefer connected TV as the primary mode to access television. So while the number of CTV households are expected to cross 40 million by 2025, what is more important is that the population of CTV is bound to grow in big way. So we can uh, probably discuss whether it will be 40 million, will be 50 million or 30 million, but it's bound to grow, that's very clear. And these growing number of smart televisions and cord shavers, and cord shavers, as you know, are people uh, who have reduced their spends on cable, DTH, etc., increase their spends on OTTs. And these cord cutters, uh, they also called nevers, increase in multiple language OTT content. So, English, Hindi, uh, other vernacular. OTT video service market, which is VOD and even live, in India is likely to post a, a CAGR of 30% to reach uh, a $5 billion by 2026. And all this is being boosted because of fast broadband speeds and 5G. And for our economy, actually, the scope of growing ad spends could not have come at a better time, thanks to the advent of this era of CTVs and STVs, the smart TVs. The new age for television has tremendous potential for not only increasing the ad spends, but crucially, for also being able to reach a targeted audience. Even recognizing the continued decline of linear TVs, de declined about 11% in 2021 and about 8% in 2022, the fact remains that linear television still provides a very effective, a very efficient and immediate reach in a premium and brand safe environment. And that's very important. When paired with the rising CTV viewership, to some extent, CTV can really aid linear TV to deliver a much more targeted audience. Dr. Batra talked about it. During both regularly scheduled television programs and the OTT content. And so put it more simply, this means that marketers can now deliver specific television ads to specific people based on their interests, habits, and demographics. And by blending this granular data and panel-based research, brands can potentially reach more relevant audiences directly in their own living rooms 
all through professionally produced television content. CTV is therefore, I feel, slowly bridging that gap of digital marketing and it has got many advantages. It's got that robust data targeting, uh, superior measurement with the benefits that television provides, a large screen, great imagery, and therefore larger stickiness. And on top of it, marketers can take advantage of large full screens that provide 100% SOV and brand safe environments. That's becoming also very important. Brand safe environments are really for the larger brands really important. And co-viewing with the family, of course, and friends, and a proven medium for engaging audiences as a cohesive portion of a larger omni-channel campaign. With the acceleration of the cord-cutting CTV advertising provides a way for marketers to reach to such consumers. At Maruti Suzuki, we have been leveraging OTT platforms on CTV and mobile as part of our brand campaigns. They, but again, it's not really the main thrust, uh, they, we, we believe it delivers about 2 to 3 percent incremental reach over television um, uh, reach for various campaigns. And as part of our association spends, we are now specifically leveraging CTV with TV and mobile to specifically target these cord cutters, these affluent households during key sporting events like the IFA, uh, like the uh, I, uh, IFA, FIFA, IPL, and such big cricketing events. CTV advertising in India is expected to grow to from about 450 crore, which is it is there today, to 3,500 crore plus. That's the estimate we have made for the next five years, and these are of course backed by industry reports as well. Now it's up to us as marketers to work on integrated plans, reach via linear TV, addressable, and or connected TVs for more targeted communication, optimizing the spends between linear television along with the other digital platforms. So while we have multiple indicators for increased adoption of precision targeting through addressable TVs, we need to be wary of a few structural challenges which may impact the growth of cord cutting in India, like the higher cost of OTT versus pay TV. Monthly rent is about three, four times higher, as you know. Then there is a matter of uh, fixed broad broadband connections. With approximately 31 million fixed broadband connections in India, uh, as per the TRI report, which you would have uh, uh, definitely seen uh, last August 22, it was released. Fixed broadband penetration is at 9% in India. That compares very unfavorably with 95% in developed nations. So the development scenario for the transition of linear TV to connected TV is indeed going to be very different. And with that, I now look forward to hearing from my other esteemed industry colleagues about their views on the agenda for today. So thank you once again, E4M team, for having me here. It's indeed going to be a very insightful day, full of learning, and I look forward to it. Thank you.